Good morning from the Amazon, 90 feet up. It's day eight, and I can't believe it's coming to an end here. Um, it's gonna be sad to leave this place. But yesterday was another amazing day. Uh, mail brought another food item in, some sort of small mammal, I think, it's always, I think it was a possum. Anyway, I got some nice interaction on the nest with them. He's always super nervous when he hits the nest. She goes straight for the food and mantles over it and looks very aggressive. And he dances around the nest for a little bit and then leaves. Um, he came over to the, the tree right next to my blind after he left. So I, I was able to get amazing flight shots of him coming straight at me over to this tree. And then when he left, once again, coming straight at me and he flew right over the top of me. So, nailed him with the flight shots. Um, female actually came over to the same tree behind the blind to collect a stick today. So, I did a slow shutter pan on her as she's flying with the stick. Um, yeah, I just, we've, we've had a, a great time. What I'm going to do today is try to pull back a little bit. Use a little less of the 1200. Um, get a little bit more environment. It's a beautiful environment. Um, so a lot of times I, I get a little too tight and forget about pulling back and getting the 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 area the habitat so That's gonna be my chore today is stay off the big lens and get some habitat with smaller eagle flying through it and sitting on branches and And we'll see if he comes in again today. There are small prey items. So um, It'd be great if he brings in another prey item. I still haven't gotten a nice picture of him carrying in something um, so that would be good and uh, we'll keep you updated so quick update from the harpy blind it's 11 15 on day 8 um, super slow today haven't seen either of the parents so there's no food in the nest and babies just resting and growing. Um, it's another hot day today, hot, clear. Yeah, I still have hope. Uh, we have another eight hours today. So yeah, hopefully somebody will catch something and come give us a visit. It's amazing how much longer the days are when there's not much activity. I mean, yesterday, 13 hours just flew by. Um, and today, it's, it's a long day. So I'll touch base later. Uh, wish me luck. All right, a little update. Uh, since the last video, I uh, checked in at 11 o'clock. There was nothing going on in day eight. And then 15 minutes later, mom came in right at the heat of the day. So I tell you, it's just, you never know. I mean, I thought there's no way she's gonna come in in the middle of the day. Um, and there was food in the nest that I didn't see. There was a monkey arm, um, go figure. So she went ahead and fed the monkey arm and hand to the baby, slowly, meticulously, you know, ripping up little pieces uh, it's just neat to watch. I mean, if she gives a piece that's too big, I mean, the baby just grabs everything. And if she gives the baby a piece that's too big, she'll, and if any sign that he's, str he's struggling, she reaches down quickly and grabs it and pulls it out of his mouth and makes it smaller. So um, I saw the baby trying to swallow a whole leg bone. I mean, it was eight inches long and I mean the baby would choke to death I mean he just wants to eat anything so she's you know right there in fact uh, another time she was maybe 20 20 yards from the nest up in a branch and the baby started to mess with some food that was left there trying to rip it up on his own and right away she flew down there and and fed him um, didn't want him trying to eat on his own. Uh, she, he can't be trusted clearly at this point. Um, but anyway, it's just really neat to watch. 
So he did get some food. She flew off. And I don't know if, if you watched an earlier post. I said at, at sunset, she flew and landed on this branch that's about a quarter mile away. It's in this window. Well, that's where she went again. Um, and once again, those same damn couple leaves were screwing up. It's amazing, you know, uh, one leaf. It's the difference between a super successful shot and nothing. So, I mean, I was trying to work it and wait for the wind because you, you got to see the beak. So she's got to be profile and you got to have the crest feathers come up. So it's a lot to have and then the leaf to move too. Just the nuances, the little teeny details. But anyway, so once again, slow day turns into a amazing day. So uh, we still have... It's 1.15 now. We still have five hours left. Anything could happen. So uh, day eight, I was just checking those images after the mom came in and fed that monkey arm to the baby. And uh, we had a little post recently about rapid fire pictures, uh, how it's annoying. But here's a case where it was needed. So mom was feeding and you know, the key is to have that hand, you know, so you know that it's a monkey. Otherwise, it's just meat. And um, so I'm going to show you the screen now. Three frames. And it's the second frame is the one that's the, the killer. So there's the first frame. Nothing, basically. Next frame. There is the shot. So that's clearly a monkey hand. And then the frame after. And remember, this is rapid fire. Uh, you know, 12 frames a second. So let me back it up. That's the frame. 